up, what's up, what's up? We would like to welcome everyone to the We Just Josen podcast, hosted by your boy Lil Cali. Your main man, Nate Nerd. We in the building, y'all. Yes, sir, man. Been a good day raining out here in Louisiana, man. It feel like fucking Seattle out here, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's our, it's our second episode. Want to give a shout out to everybody who've been tuning in, watching us. Uh, Appreciate the love. It's, yeah. So Appreciate it's the love. Episode. Shout real. out to shout out to Miles on the track, baby. We shout out to Miles, baby. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, y'all keep tuning in. It's going to keep getting better and better by Absolutely. the episode, baby. But, you know, we got to get straight into the business, man. Let's go. Man, we got to talk about my man Hatch, man. Boosted badass. Oh, my, my. Bro. What, what? I, I don't know. I can't case it. I can't case it either. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they if they picking on Hatch. You know what I'm saying? Because I looked at a, I looked at a video with, uh, with Hatch, his lawyer. Right. And she was explaining how he beat the first charge. Mm -hmm. Right. But at the at the feds pick up, right? Right. And she said that 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 charge the the charge that the feds picked up mm -hmm. was identical to the charge that the state had. And they just picked it up because the state dropped it, right? Right. So this this thing right here, this is a whole nother level. I don't know. Yeah, because I was I was trying to figure out, I'm like, so it started as a state case. Started as a state case. All right, the feds picked it up. Feds picked it up. Dismissed it. Because I seen him it. cut Dismissed the anger monitor off, dive in the pool, Dismissed all that hat shit he do. His lawyer, his his lawyer got on uh I can't remember the the the, the podcast. Yeah, the you show. sent it to me. She got on there and she said that that charge that, was dismissed. It was dismissed. And three days later, they didn't hit him again and added some shit to it, which I didn't understand because I'm like, you dismiss it, you bring it back and add a different charge to say an addict in possession of a file. I never heard of that. Uh, I'm I'm saying like, I don't know. I gotta do my research on that because I was talking to one of my one of my uh, partners, and I was asking him because he he kind of well versed in law, and I'm right. asking him what is an uh, addict uh, addict with a gun, <laughs> like like and, and and if it's an addict, how do they go fed? Yeah, why is that not a a, a Misdemeanor. That, 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 <laughs> like misdemeanor. Nigga, that shit seemed like some shit like, bitch, you got off, we gonna get your motherfucking funk ass with something. Because I, I still can't figure that out to this day. But my thing is, I I don't know if they trying to make make Boo uh, spend bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if they trying to make him spend bread. Because one thing I got to respect about Boo, on every level, no matter who it is, he very vocal and he very outspoken. Yeah. And they and they don't like that. But it could be a gift and a curse when you're yeah. fucking with them people. Cause yeah. like they good with taking the L here or there, yeah. but they don't want you to speak on it and be talking so loud about it. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, that internet and kinda, you know what I'm saying, got niggas where, you know, it's it's tough to voice your opinion like that, bro. Cause that shit get back to whoever you voicing your opinion on instantly. And that, and that was a worldwide Instant L. Yeah. Like, that wasn't no, <laughs> you know, that was just like, yeah. the fans don't do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was just like, yeah. oh, you went? Oh, boom. Take it yeah. out. You feel? Oh, no, we don't move like that because we got to send a message to everybody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who moving like this? Yeah, you come out that bitch like the Teflon Don. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You posting on Instagram, you talking that shit, and them people don't like that, bro. But so Let me ask you this. How much influence do you think the Vlad interview because you know Vlad get a lot right, of heat right right but my thing is uh, Vlad don't put a gun in your head bro yeah and make you tell these things I don't know if you what kind of image you're trying to get off the people yeah but Vlad don't make you he give you the bread whatever and but and a, that's on you but a nigga say uh Vlad got him indicted, but that shit was already in the works before he did a fucking Vlad interview. Right, right. And that right, shit ain't got right. nothing to do with no uh, Vlad. Uh, nah. So yeah. I personally don't think it's anything to do with a Vlad interview. I think it's more or less so, nigga, you beat us and you talking shit, we got to try to get your ass some kind of way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think more or less so that's what it is. They just feel fucked up that a nigga like Boosie, who's a worldwide figure, Beat they ass. And talk shit. And talk that <laughs> nigga shit. Yeah. Talk that south side see, four down shit, man. But I think they what I think they banking on, you know, in the feds, they go by the point system. Facts. So you know if Boo, if they do get Boo on some little bullshit, 
Right. But then they're gonna look at his prize and that's gonna enhance his time. But you and they just trying to get they just trying to make a statement. But bro. you gotta think about this. Boosie never was a convicted felon. The murder charge was beat. He was in on the weed charge. Right. He never was a he he don't have any felonies. Right. So it's like I don't know how this because going, he, bro. Because he outright beat. He, he beat? outright beat what he beat. Yeah. So it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just a it's just a tough time for him right now. They're trying to prove a point, but shout out to Boosie, man. You I'm know, a, I'm you know we want you to beat them bitches, man. I'm with you. I'm Any with one you. of my niggas that go down, man, we want you to beat them bitches, man. Keep standing tall, Hatch, and God going to work in your favor, my brother. Shout out to Hatch, because at the end of the day, I don't give a damn how much shit he talk, how much, you know, people disagree with him. Right. But at the same time, his name good, he stand tall, right. and he from the book, so we got to rock with him. We got to rock with him, baby. Gotta we rock got with to rock with him. Yeah, man. Yep. So it's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> a lot of shit going on. A lot of different current events. A lot of topics. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm a. Uh, this was something we was talking about once before, right? Yeah. But what you think about the shit with J uh, with J Prince, Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Mace, like you know what I'm saying? You, you, you think you think Prince, you know, you still you think he still got that strong arm or that strong hand, or you think he watered down right now? What's happening? His hand might be still strong, but man, you got to you got to leave that shit to them youngsters, man. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like when I was growing up, personally, you know what I'm saying? When I heard Jay Prince, now it was always like. Man, that nigga was like the boogeyman. You know fact. what I'm saying? Yeah. So he had a big fear factor on him where niggas ain't want to try him, niggas ain't want to test him. If it was anything rap a lot, you know in the South not to cross that shit. But as of right now, like I see the shit happen with young boy with, with the um, with the cost, you know, stole out his car situation. He get on with Shakur, with the umbrellas and shit, which I ain't really like. Because I'm like, man, you an OG. Niggas look at you different. But you steep, stoop into the young nigga level. Mm -hmm. And so now these young niggas don't really give a fuck about all that old shit. So now these niggas like, man, fuck J Prince and you know who the fuck yeah, is J Prince? Yeah, they ain't respecting shit. Yeah, they ain't respecting because nothing. Because let's just keep it real. We, co we coming from the boot. Texas is our neighboring state. Facts. Right? So J Prince was like the first mogul. In our area. So yeah. before, before you know, we was doing music in Louisiana, but I'm saying like like for real, for real, like Prince, J. Prince was the man. Right. And I'm going to tell you what I think the problem is, Joe. <laughs> real talk. As long as he was quiet. That fucking internet. Man, that as internet. As long as he was quiet. You couldn't really pick him. You just knew that. Yeah. Don't you know, fuck with that. Because you even hear about, look. And Willie D, Willie, Willie D solid, but Willie D always gave him his like he bought that yeah, light yeah, yeah. face. He bought that light. So now that what the internet do, it expose you because you can't win. Right. And and no matter how much you talking, you got you got people that's in their rooms right. and their closets typing. Right. And they, and they making you know they they expose you. So I think I think that internet, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just picking your battles and not going and everything, and then when you send threats. Or light threats or whatever you sending, and how you gonna pull that shit off when yeah. all this shit is being recorded, taped and stuff yeah. like that? Man. That that internet is like insurance for niggas now. But nigga, you yeah, know nigga, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like insurance. So <laughs> I can't get on the internet and say, nigga, yeah. I'm finna go, nigga, I'm coming on your street, I'm finna yeah. kill this nigga. Yeah. Then when that nigga die, nigga coming straight back to you. Are you so? You, you it's like my nigga, get the fuck on, man. They tapped in on you, cause Charleston always be like, you know what I'm saying? You niggas be talking shit, you know what I'm saying? But you know the cops is watching, and then just the way, man. I love Jay Prince. That, yeah, like, nah, like, no, no doubt. I'm saying like coming up, right? You know what I'm saying? But when you get whack. To come like he came. Yeah. It, 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 if you get disrespected like that and you supposed to be this boogeyman and don't nothing go down, man, it, it's in line. That's like that's like in the streets. If you selling work and a nigga jack you, she and don't nothing happen to him, everybody feel they like they can jack line. you at that point. Niggas they, getting in line. Oh yeah. But let me get something, nigga. I'm they, finna jack you too, cause you ain't gonna do nothing. They're gonna be so in line. I think that's 
just kind of where it's at with Jay Prince now. He's still Jay Prince, you know yeah, what I'm man. saying, at He's the end of the man. fucking day. But I just think that internet then kind of, you know what I'm saying? Just shouldn't address everything. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we, what's that saying you saying? Like uh, uh, hollering at the moon? Uh, how yeah, you say? dog barking at the moon. At the moon. <laughs> it's like, why even, you know what I'm saying? Why even address that? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, but, you gotta stay out of some shit, man. But shout out to J Prince. Shout out to J Prince. Rap a lot of records. Mob ties. J Prince Jr., my little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cool nigga. So, yeah. you know, you just gotta stay off that net, bro. And just keep it keep it kosher like you was. Go back to doing your skits. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that Talking shit, that boogie man. That shit, shit was powerful. The skits on the on, on the yeah. um, And then so like niggas was waiting on it because he getting game. He getting knowledge. And especially, you know what I'm saying? Uh I respect how he was one of the most uh powerful figures. And if you if you if you from the uh Louisiana, uh the uh this region. Yeah, the whole South Coast. You 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 know who Chad Scott is. Yeah. So and that and Chad Scott, for those who don't know, he was a a, a a DEA agent, a crooked, a dirty, dirty DEA agent. You know what I'm saying? That they, they, they got a lot of my partners. He missed a lot of my partners. Yeah. But he worked the whole uh, Gulf Coast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Area from Texas on down. And he was a dirty cop, right? So, Jay Prince, uh, that was big how he exposed him. Right. And now that cat, that cat in jail right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At least they say in jail. I ain't never heard nobody <laughs> doing no time with him. But. I hope you that know, motherfucker in jail. Yeah, so you know, shout out to Jay, you know, for that or whatever. Facts. So. Another, another big topic, man. Another big topic going around. Um, uh, shit, that bitch everywhere. What you already know? Where we going? The with? hot boys. The hot boys. We on fire. The hot boys. The hot boys. I, what you gotta say about that, man? First of all, that's 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 my error. <laughs> And I'm extremely disappointed. Yeah. Right? I'm extremely disappointed with the whole situation. And, you know, first of all, we can look at it like this. They could be cheating us out of our last time to ever see them all together, especially when Jizzle home, right? Right. And then you fumbling the bag at the same time. Yeah. Like people lined up waiting, people begging for this, but we gotta go through, you know, hear the bickering and yeah. all this back and forth. But we, we wanna see y'all on stage. Yeah, in, in my opinion, it don't take nothing but you know, I hour on stage. You ain't gotta be best friends with no nigga. You ain't got to go out to eat with no nigga after. Nigga, just get on stage, get the money, get the fans what they want, and shit, go your separate ways. You ain't got to be yeah. cool by y'all with no but, nigga. But I look, that's true if you say look. We ain't gonna farm with the bag. We right. gonna get straight to the bag. Do what right. we gotta do. But at the same time, we need to see that same camaraderie, right? Because at any given point in time, over time, they have all bashed each other at some yeah. point. Right? Yeah. And came back. Yeah. You did? So my whole thing is whatever whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, we can get over that because shout out to Juvie, bro. Because Solid. Because what Juve do, you know, Juve, Juve show love to everybody and he he's very vocal in expressing the fact that he wants this to happen. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's too much history and, and, and they, they, they real legends and too much have been done to get to that point. And not to, do it. And not do it. Yeah, because BG then did 13 years, nigga, when he was in, before he went in, Turk was in. Turk was in. So when he get out, BG go in. So it's like, and then them two niggas bickering and beefing, which I don't understand. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I got a relationship with all of them. Like, yeah. but kind of besides, you know, I know Wayne, but, you know, I yeah. know them other boys way thicker than Wayne. Right. And my thing is with Turk, to be honest, man, that nigga was ripping the fuck out of BG while he was in jail the whole yeah. fucking time. See, I don't know where it went wrong at. And then my whole thing is. You can't give us the Beatles without Paul. <laughs> right. Right. At at this point, it's no greater or lesser. Less, yeah. Because you gave it to us to a give, certain kind of way. Yeah. Right? So when you give it back to us, 
and I like them high. The one that don't, and that, and y'all gotta, that, yeah. y'all, y'all got gotta to do that. some more kind of you got to have that. fuckable ass shit to get that across. It just failed. You got to have that because, nigga, in some instances, Turk was the favorite hot boy for some people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people love Juve. A lot of people love Wayne. A lot of people love BG. They be trying to X Turk out, but it's like, nigga, yeah. some people was I like, think, Turk my favorite hot boy. I think Turk kind of getting his flowers right now. Right. Because when you look at the internet and the comments and stuff like yeah. that, a lot of people backing him, right? Right. But I just feel like my favorite hot boy, I'm going to go out on it. I can't. It's. I love BG. <laughs> I love. I love BG, and I love Jewel, right? But probably the same because BG was really the heart of the streets. Like he touched the streets and he kept it raw. But Juve was street and conscious. So 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 are we going in order right here on your list? That's what you're telling me. So all right, well keep going in order, and we're gonna. I think I think I think me as a person, Juve would Juve would make more sense for me the way I think. All right, so you're taking Juve one. I'm taking Juve one. I'm taking BG close two, okay. strong two, and I'm taking Tur- Turk three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm take I'm uh, this is so just you going me. Wayne four? I'm not I'm not caught up in the hype. Wayne is a lyricist. Wayne is crazy on his own uh, animal. As the group, you as saying, the group, you won't turn. So now when you separate Wayne for his by itself, now you put he Wayne won. up here with Jigger yeah, he and won. all these type of people. But as a hot boy, he four. Damn. Well, that's all right. That's I, just I, me, and I, I, I'll take your list. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get some flack, but it's okay. I'm gonna go as a hot boy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Wayne. I'm gonna go Juve. <sighs> Chopper City in the ghetto. You know, BG had some classic albums, man. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go BG third, just because Turk. Really, only put out I one project. You I know what I'm saying? That. Now he did his shit on all the Hot Boy albums, but he only put out one solo project. So that's kind of why I think people always put tor- toward the end if they making a list because his they, his body of work is only on one the, project. They going on the, you know they going on the body of work. Yeah, they going on the body of work. But the nigga got some classic verses on all the Hot Boy albums, and like you can't shun him because the motherfucker is you know he he, he like that. But it's like if you go on in order. I would have to go Wayne, which I'm I'm account for the Wayne right now. You took it back to, to the then. Wayne before. Yeah, I'm but going the Wayne for the right Wayne now, right now. The Wayne right now is on Mars. Yeah, Wayne right now one, Juve because Juve tore more than fucking anybody in the fucking rap game down there. Mm-hmm. BG and then Turk. Then will be then will be my folks. Say, bro. So I just want to hear everybody else folks. Y'all drop y'all foes in the comments. Who y'all Let us top? Who, give me y'all hot boy list one to four, man. And then I'm gonna fuck. I gotta put man there five and baby. And yeah, six. Well, you know they, they, you know. But I just want to let it, the hot boys know, cash money know. Please, whoever could fix that, fix that before it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always a time limit on things, and we ready to see y'all, man. Y'all missing these states, missing these places, man. Get the, get the that money. The people want it. The people want it, man. The yeah. people want it bad, for shout real. Shout out to the hot boy. Shout out to Cash Money. Shout out to Baby and Slim. Shout out to Manny Fresh. Shout out to my nigga Hot Bezo, man. You already yeah. know. What up, Bezo? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we just trickling back and forth on different shit. But for sure. another thing, these goddamn laws done changed down here in Louisiana. This gun law shit, you know. That shit wicked. You... You the man with all that, so yeah. I'm, I'm gonna hand you the yeah. floor on that. You so tell look, me yo, what you think about that. Man, Louisiana hating on a brother, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Look, the crazy thing. We're gonna talk about the gun law, but they dropped two laws in tandem. The gun law. Okay. Along with that, then you got 85%. Right, right, right. No parole. Right, no parole. So, boom, let's get to the gun law. 
let's say eighteen or over. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't have to have a permit. You can still carry. You can still carry. Wherever they run down on you at, you good money. Yeah, so that's that, that that's my only thing with that law. Like when you give an eighteen year old access to have a gun legally, so most eighteen year olds mind ain't developed yet. So the first thing they thinking is nigga, I'm finna put this iron on your ass. So now they walk around with guns legally. So if they get stopped, they can't get nothing can happen to them with the gun. And if they get into it with a nigga, the first thing they mind sending them to is to grab that fucking gun. Mm-hmm. And that's man, that's about to fill them motherfucking jails up, bro. That one law right there. Mm-hmm. And then like, like um, if you got drugs or something like that, right? I think you throw it into another level. Yeah, it enhanced that shit. So now you lay up there, and you feel like. These young kids that don't really yeah. know the law, don't really, oh, no, 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 we good. Yeah, 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 I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this legal. Nah. Nah. It make all, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? It enhanced that, and now it, it, it make it the same as it was. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, we got that, and then that. Go over to the 85%. The 85%. Yeah. So, now you're going to be locking more people up. Who really don't have an understanding of the law. Yeah. Right? So, boom. So now, you're doing 85%. That's They do that in the feds, right? Right. So the crazy thing is, you got to do 85% of your time before you are considered. For, yeah. A, eligible. Yeah. For parole. So I'm like, what's left? Yeah, shit, you better go fed <laughs> and do the 85 laid back yeah. instead of doing that shit in the state. Cause I don't know how that shit goes. On 10 years in the state, you got to do eight and a half before now, you consider for anything. Before you consider for anything. So now, I just want to look at this camera and tell all of the young cats that's out there, if you're going to play in them streets, Bad. know what you up against, study your laws, you understand? You know, it's it's cool to be cool. You feel me? You ain't even got to get into that. But know what's happening because I was reading an article that said in six years, the incarceration rate is going to double. That shit might triple. You feel me? <laughs> so now you got overcrowded prisons. Yeah. So what are you what what are you happy? Yeah, you that that man. I'm telling you, bro. When I when I seen that law up, I was just like, bro. Especially down here, dog. That's finna fuck some shit up. Cause just think about this. Bayou Classic coming up. Nigga, we you got a million motherfucking youngsters out there walking the streets where that shit was bad anyway. Now nah, they could walk the streets with a gun concealed and they can't get in trouble. So all that shit breaking out on Bourbon, on Canal, at the Bayou Classic finna be, man, that shit finna be like Open shop season, bro. Everybody about to have that thing. Yeah, out there. And I ain't going. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody about, about to have that thing in yeah. the name of I'm protecting I'm mine. protecting, yeah. And, you and, feel me? And the law upholding it. So, so I can still carry. You're going to squeeze way quicker exactly. than you would have squeezed. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Because you're going to feel like the first thing out the way I was able to have my shit. Yeah, and she, man, that shit. Dog, I, I, I hate it. I hate that's it. That's crazy, man. And, and that's another thing. I don't know if that's some shit we could have voted on or they slid that shit right in. But I think they voted on it, but the governor had to sign off on it, and he signed off on it, which I don't think he should have signed off on it because that's not a good – I mean, that's not a good thing. You got to be 21 to buy a gun, but you could be 18 to carry. So if I'm 21 and I go buy a gun and give it to an 18-year-old, he legally could carry that bitch. <laughs> with, with no permit, I, I would love to see the governors or whatever you know person in political office that pushed that pushed that put that on the desk. And what what was uh, the governor's uh, reasoning? And what would he think? What change, positive change, right? That would bring. That would bring. Doing it because I can't see none. You know, for the low level, for the grimy, 
you know, it's it's just gonna be yeah, it's, gonna it's be wicked. It's, it's it's gonna be World War Three. It's gonna be wicked. Yeah, it's gonna be ugly, bro. So and then you got all these people like these these kids. You know, they go into jail. You used to be able to, you know, get parole, do this, do that. But now, when you go up in there, you know, you still a snicker ball, man. Yeah, you can yeah. do it. You got to do that time, bro. So, so yeah. it just that shit just that shit just got me fucked up with that. I ain't, I ain't really like it. You know what I'm saying? But I guess you know you got to deal with it, brother. I wonder how long that shit lasts. Like, could it be reversed? Or... I don't know. That's some shit I, I don't check know. Into. Yeah, you got to research I did, that I shit. Did, I did a little reading up on it, but. I just got to, you know, check in and see how that happened, you know? Yeah, yeah. so we'll see. Well, yeah, bro, it's been good. It's been real good today. You know, second episode, we flowing. In the books. In the books. We flowing, man. We look forward to seeing y'all. Y'all keep supporting, keep subscribing, keep liking, and we're going to keep them coming. You know what I'm saying? Look forward to more guests. You know what I'm saying? We're going to bring we gonna bring some of our people on here, man. We just, we, we ain't looking for the... The superstars and the, yeah. and the big time entertainers. We want we want regular people, man, to come pull up on us and be a part of the family, man. Come sit down with us, and yeah. we just gonna have these open round table discussions. You know what I'm saying? Just have something to say. We just we just josing, man. We just josing up in here talking our shit. You heard me? Yeah, we so, go anyway. Keep supporting, keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing, baby. We just josing. We out.